KFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is the 4 p.m. market update. I am Jacob Shoup. Tom O'Brien will be back Monday. Let's take a look at where we finished out at the day. We have the S Mini closing up 0.54%. We have the Russell Futures closing up almost 3% there. Uh, the NQs up about 0.23%. The Dow Futures up 0.82%. Take a look at gold. Gold is up 1.61%. Pretty solid, trading at 2,090 on the contract. Copper trading up 1.73%. And silver about 088 trading at 2588. And the crude futures trading at 74. 23 Steel Dynamics blew up at one <laughs> region, like the 120, which is pretty serious for this stock. Uh, I was looking at some of the financials. Excuse me. <coughs> You're listening to me. Uh, a few of the financials on the company. Now, I think there's some positive outlook going forward for U.S. Steel. These guys also um, kind of recycle steel as well. I know Michigan has just uh, approved a $500 million pipeline under uh, two Great Lakes. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of steel going uh, into that, um, Steel Dynamics is really posed, uh, excuse me, poised to to do pretty well off that. I was looking at some of the financials though with it, and I'm not sure when those come out, this stock will look as rosy. Uh, but who's to say? Sometimes stocks don't even, you know, kind of uh, I guess react to news like that. Take a look too. You know, the Fed spoke today. Um, Chairman Powell was saying that it's premature to kind of look at uh, any kind of rate decrease, um, saying that we're not exactly. Uh, convinced that we're uh, at our level that we need to be restriction-wise. And this article here is from Fed Bowman uh, and said that she actually still expects another rate hike as well. Uh, the U.S. Central Bank will likely need to raise borrowing costs further in order to bring inflation back down to 2% target uh, over a reasonable period. And that was uh, Federal Reserve Governor uh, Michelle Bowman. She goes, the baseline economic outlook continues to expect um, that we will need to increase the federal funds rate further to keep policy sufficiently restricted. So they're still obviously seeing uh, a decrease in uh, growth at this point, uh, but she's saying they might need to shoot over a little bit what they're at currently. So I think, you know, looking forward to like, you know, when are we gonna do the rate hike? Are we pricing in the rate hikes now for January? Are we pricing them in for February? Uh, you know, maybe might take a second to sit back and be like, is that really what will happen to that point? Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we'll be back Monday with Tommy O'Brien, 9 a.m. for the morning market kickoff and then scheduled programming as usual. Have a great rest of your, re rest of your weekend. <laughs>